start. The blurry image in the middle of here is a really, really hot chilli. Now I'm going to introduce you to Rob because he's the sadist who is going to eat this chilli and tell you all about it. I am indeed. Um, we shall say hello to the chilli. Let me just get a knife out because um, I'm not sure that I want to eat all of it, but we'll start out with a, a healthy chunk. Um, here goes. Hmm. Well, that's <coughs> very sweet and fruity, but yes, it's, it's getting warmer by the minute. Um, this could be interesting. Thankfully, I have a cup of coffee set to the side, which will hopefully cool things down a little bit. Failing that, I've got a, a freezer full of ice cream and, and other strange things. Um, excuse me a moment. Uh, right, a swig of coffee. Mm. His mum said, never accept sweets off strangers. You're quite strange, Pete. Uh, yes, that's good. It's still getting warmer, which is... <laughs> <coughs> Thanks, Pete. Do you need to go and blow your nose? Um, not quite yet, but I seem to have developed hiccups, which is... Even more amusing than you. It's probably quite amusing to you. Yeah, he's a hilarious old boy. <laughs> Hmm. Excuse all the burping and hiccuping going on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. No, on the camera. it's a family-friendly show, Peter. Yes, family-friendly. Very, 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 very old boy. Oh. Right, we seem to have reached a crescendo. My mouth is watering quite a lot. My lips are burning more than my tongue, as is my th chest. But we're doing okay. Um, if you have to excuse me, it's starting rather awkwardly. I've got a very stiff neck at the moment, having slept funny. Oh, I don't know whether that's igniting or making things hotter or cooling things down. It's quite refreshing but a good coffee he always is um, <laughs> I seem to be crying a little bit oh, thanks Pete well I was always told never to take the pee out of anybody who, who, who's suffering and, and really offer, offer help but in this case it was totally self inflicted it was it was. You did tell me that it was very hot and not to eat it. Yes, I had instructions from the person who grew it. <laughs> but, no, we're done. I think I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah, I'll live. You'll live. Yep. Excellent. Well, Excellent. I'm... More coffee, please, Peter. Yeah. I'm just going to take a picture of the offending article. There it is. Disappearing in a fog of unfocusedness. Um, that's the chilli that Rob just ate. However, in this bag is a donut with uh, anti chilli jam in it. Woohoo! And this is Rob, who's just eaten that chilli. Now I'm going to eat donut. I'm still coughing a little bit. <clears throat> I shouldn't be eating donuts, of course, I'm fat. But Pete brought them and it'd be rude to turn down gifts. Yeah, well, Rob told me this morning that he'd woken up with a stiff neck after a very pregnant pause in the conversation and uh, I went down to the uh, 
the donut shop and explained the situation and they said this jam in this donut has medicinal problems. Medicinal um, problems? I think you mean properties, mate. Yes, properties, that will do. Yes, properties, yes. You zooming in on my mouth, stuff full of sugar and donut. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, full of medicinal properties. Mm. Very good for stiff necks, they said, and um, also very good for people who have eaten chilies. Certainly has relieved some of the burn, as has the entire cup of coffee I've drunk since ingesting the chilli, but it was good. Mm. Thanks, Pete. Oh, that's cool, mate. So that's two things you've had off a strange man. I should stop accepting things from strange men, but so far they've been... Yeah, your mum told you that when you were a lad. She did. Mm. She did. <laughs> right. right, that's it. More coffee. More coffee, and there's an empty bag.